Hi, I am Michelle Tapin Davis, President of the Women in Art Organization of Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to Radiance. 25 years ago, we were founded by Fräulein Rudder with just over 10 members. Today, we can boast of over 125 members and counting. In celebration of this auspicious occasion, we host our annual members exhibition at the Rotunda. We invite you to join us on this amazing journey as we view the work of our stellar artists. President Michelle Tappin Davis, officers and members of Women in Art, exhibitors, organizers, and all present here this afternoon. What a great pleasure it is to be among you as usual with Women in Art. It's always a joy to be here with you and see the tremendous amount of work that you do with such love and devotion. And you are here today at a very special place in the rotunda of the Red House. And what fortune for us, because it means that the public has recognized the work of women in art. And now we are in the place where everybody can come in and out and see your work. So we're not only seeing your work in the calendar, but we are going to be seeing your work here in the Red House for some time. And the exhibition will go on for a few days. And this is a very special occasion because women in art are celebrating their 25th anniversary. As we celebrate our 25th anniversary, we naturally think of our founder and we wish her all the best. I am always amazed at how much the women in art do. And this year is no exception. You have done so much and there is such a large exhibition of such a high standard. You always excel and I think everyone enjoys your work. You do not only scenes and buildings and people, but you do so much for Trinidad and Tobago as well. And we thank you for all that you are doing, not only for women in art, but for art and the whole, because you are setting an example for some of the students as well, because I know that you try to help the secondary school students, we always have an exhibition, especially for them as well. But this year and this exhibition is only for your 25th anniversary. So I want to wish you well, and I congratulate you. I thank you. And I know that this is going to be a fantastic exhibition. So do enjoy it all. And thanks to all the exhibitors and all the participants and every one of you. We love you and we know how much you have put into those pieces of art. You put your heart and soul into it and we appreciate it. So all the best to you. And we hope that you will have an excellent exhibition and people will really enjoy it. Thank you so much. We invite you to stay with us as I, together with our Vice President, Nalini Akal, take you on a wonderful walk through the Rotunda. So here we have an orbit by Olisa Scott, a Caribbean artist and one of our newest members. Olisa is a very versatile artist who works in a variety of media and who continues to experiment. This piece is entitled Touch the Sky by Deborah Clement. It is done using stenciling and mixed media. Next to it, we have Soul's Desire by Sarah and Radha Muhammad. This is another conceptual piece with the triangle at the center. And we all know 
the significance of the triangle where it comes to mysticism and spirituality. Next to it, we have Anthurium Heat by Leona Fabian. This is a multidimensional piece as the inner canvas projects outward to the viewer. The Anthurium being her point of departure. The Hope and the Rising. These two pieces were done by Giselle Winter and they are very near and dear to Giselle's heart. In fact, they reflect the very core of her. For Giselle is a deeply spiritual artist and this is the medium that she uses to express this spirituality. It's a mixed media piece and they both deal with the coming, the second coming of Jesus Christ. Here we have Within, painted by Michelle Boyd. Michelle is another veteran artist, but her style is very distinctive. Lots of explosive color, very sensuous, curvy lines, very, very engaging within. Chanticleer and the hen in the backyard. Chanticleer we see with these beautiful radiant colors, his coxcomb and wattles standing proudly in the yard. And next door, the hen pecking away, doing what hens usually do in the yard. The beautiful contrast of the white, brilliant against the gray of the old battered fence. Sun Kissed by Elsa Carrington Clark is a beautiful watercolor and mixed media collage. We really see the radiance of the sun against the dark chocolate of the portrait. Next, we have Mermaid Radiance by Shamala Nawani. The gorgeous rainbow of colors reflected on the model. Third, Twin Radiance by Sabina Ayard. The beautiful gleam in the eyes of the girls, truly radiant. Next, we have Self Love by Catherine Lewis. This piece shows self love radiating from the model as she bathes in the ocean. This piece is called Enjoying a Swamp by Sonia Alexis. It is done in acrylic on watercolor paper, and we can just sense the old lady savoring the smoke. Next, we have Haran Explosion, done by Sabina Ayad, who happens to be a parent there as well. She is a multi-talented artist, depicting here the shak shak falling on the ground, bursting and spilling its contents. Behold the Candle, by Kathy Faraby. Kathy is a Baha'i and her work often reflects concepts of the Baha'i faith and sayings of Baha'u'llah. And so one saying is, Behold the candle, how it weeps away itself. This piece depicts sacrifice. 
Next, we have Online School by Niala Dwarika. Niala painted this while watching her daughter many mornings attending online classes. Monster Zero by Neon Mackenzie, another newcomer to White. This is Marian Manifestation by yours truly, Michelle Tappen Davis. It is done in acrylic on stretched canvas and mixed with gold, liquid gold leaf. Um, the concept behind this really is to reflect my Catholic foundation, which believes that Mary is the Queen of Heaven and that she conquered Satan in the form of the serpent. So here I have depicted her triumphant and victorious, standing on the head of the serpent and wielding the sword representing the living word of God. This is Morning Light by Anne Judy Joseph Mungo. It is acrylic on cold pressed paper. Next, we have Kin by Elsa Carrington Clark. And we can see here the radiance of the light as it contrasts with the figure and the boot. Le Jardin by Ayodele Rosman. Ayodele is one of our veteran artists as well and she loves to capture the beauty of her environment. So this is her garden. This is Hibiscus Radiance done by Leona Fabian another one of our veteran artists who specializes in hand-painted silk. And we can see the beautiful textures created by the swords that she used. This beautiful diptych is done by Nalini Aka. It is a mixed media piece completed with modeling paste. It's called Two Moons. These three interesting pieces were done by Michal Hajari Singh Ramnarai. It is completed with wax, petals, and gold leaf. The first one is entitled Hidden. Next, we have Awakening. And the third one is Kinsukuruwai. Directly behind me, we have Dawn, done by Joy Lukpat. It is a mixed media piece that seems to reflect the light shining behind the trees as we gaze up toward the sky. Next door, we have Infinity by the same artist. Both are mixed media pieces and reflect the artist's creativity. Dawn is about hope and new beginnings and Infinity is about the radiant light within. To my left, we have Hazel, done by Niala Dwarika. Here we see Niala's versatility reflected in the type of brush strokes that she uses. I can see that she is experimenting here, creating the texture of the ruffles in the dancer's skirt. This is dedicated to one of her colleagues. And Hazel's gaze takes us to this side, on my right, Golden Ballerina, done by Janelle Lewis. Janelle wanted to highlight the beauty that lies in imperfection, and I think she did that quite successfully. Hi, I'm Delinia Kal, Vice President of the Women in Art Organization of Trinidad and Tobago, and taking over from our president, Michelle Tappin Davis. And I will continue the tour here at the Rotunda Gallery for our 25th anniversary. Our next artist up is Patricia Farrell Fredericks, 
with her beautiful weaving piece, Burst of Brilliance. Continuing with the rest of Patricia Farrell Frederick's work, we have here Radiant Smile and Copper Sun, both pieces of mixed media. And of course, Pat is an amazing artisan and has won multiple awards for her work. Up next, we have Annika Plowden Corentin, and I have to get this absolutely right. Her mature, sensual presence commanded the space, for she was wrapped in radiance. A beautiful mixed media piece, and I just had to get it right, and I hope you enjoy the presence of the work. And now we have Rashida Abdullah Mohammed with her beautiful double hibiscus piece, an acrylic on canvas, on canvas board actually. And um, just to add, she's given a sturdy rendition of one. And now we have a batik piece by Anika Plowden and Corentin. And again, we have to make sure it's absolutely correct. The leaves of life gently cascade down the path of pleasure. Delicate, yet present. A beautiful rendition. And now we have one of our veteran artists, Halcyon Peer. She does amazing work on acrylic. And as you can see, she's chosen to take one of our icons of TTT here in Alison Hennessy. And here we have Stephanie Pyle's piece, which is actually beaming back. And an interesting thing about this piece is that the mirror is actually cut, so there are no broken pieces in it. It's a mosaic of glass and mirror. And now we have Anne Judy Joseph Mungle with beautiful pieces. She has a singular piece, which is Evening Glow, that's Evening Glow 1, and then Evening Glow 2, which is a diptych. And I'm sure you'll enjoy them, acrylic on canvas. And now a new member, Cleo Lewis, with her sunset piece in chalk pastels. And now we have Sonia Alexis's piece, which is Hilaria. And she covers so much beautiful pieces out of the architecture of Trinidad and Tobago. Next, we have Marise Rodriguez. And her piece, Flaming Poinciana's Twin, shows a beautiful cross of the two. It reminds me of a, a poem from childhood. And so the next piece that I really want to show you, because we have the trees together, again, Kathy Farabi's piece, which is Ye Are the Leaves of One Tree. Such a beautiful, and if you can see it up close, you will see that they are actually the faces of the nation making up the world map and tree in one. So now we have Bernadette Hospitalis's piece, which are actually there are two pieces. One is Anthuriums, and the other one is Flaming Torches. Please do enjoy these two pieces. And now we have a watercolor piece by Candice Santosin, and it's called Angel in the Morning. And of course, there are some beautiful iridescent effects inside of it. And now we have Alice Mohammed's two pieces here that are based on botanicals. One is Orchid Catalia, and the other Periwinkle. I hope you enjoy. Actually, there's another mixed-media watercolour piece as well, which is going to be Marissa Richards, The Birth of Eve. And to my right, in case you're wondering, on the pamphlets, Nene is also Alice Mohammed, and this is her piece, Pan Passion. And now we have a lovely trio of artists here, starting with Adele Bino with her first piece, Jeune fille avec le panier, followed by my basket full. Then, the Jaya Mangal, Midday Radiance. A lovely piece again in acrylic, and then followed by a veteran artist again, Anne Stapleton, with Watercom. Was it Watercom? <laughs> now we have in our presence Alicia Scott's work, which is called Symbols of a Past Civilization. And on the other side, Mirrors of Me, another beautiful piece by Halcyon Peer. Our artist Halcyon Peer has done a beautiful portrait of our patroness of 
the Women in Art organization at Trinidad Tobago. And that, of course, is Ms. Salia Hassan Ali. And here we have Doreen Pegas Ransom's piece, Lavantil, the Hill, a mosaic that is just beautifully done. It's lovely to stand between two pieces here, Energy Transfer by Stephanie Pyle, which is actually a mosaic with mixed media as well, and then Eclipse by Alicia Scott, which actually has resins and many other additions to it for mixed media. And now we have Leona Fabian's beautifully hand-painted silk scarf, Nature Shine. This is Michelle Tavlin Davis, President of the Women in Art Organization of Trinidad and Tobago, bidding you farewell from the Rotunda Art Gallery. On behalf of Wyatt, the Wyatt team, we say thank you for joining us. We also say thank you to our curator, Ms. Elsa Carrington Clark, who did such an excellent job in mounting this beautiful exhibition. Do stay tuned for our gorgeous full color catalog.
my name is Nalini Akal of the Women in Art Organization of Trinidad and Tobago. And of course, you're experiencing our 25th anniversary, which is opening at the Rotunda Art Gallery. And just to let you know, you have a limited time to purchase the artworks at, on sale, which will be until the 17th of December. We would also like to thank our many artists who contributed their works, and they're so beautiful because the theme of this year's exhibition was Radiance. Of course, behind the scenes, we have our amazing executive team who have put this together for more than a year and a half. And I just want to put some little claps, yay, and a little toast of champagne, yay, to our executive team. So just to conclude, um, we have a couple of extra things I want to add. Um, one, our social media. Remember to follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. And using these as well, you can purchase work. So let's take it back a bit. What is so special about this 25th anniversary? Guess what? We have the Certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity is something that guarantees the work of the artist, the work of the organization. It adds value to the work that you purchase. And remember, you have to purchase because you have to purchase for Christmas. It's Christmas, guys. You have until the 17th of December to purchase these pieces. It is also for the legacy of the artist as well as a very important thing, an investment in your for, for your income as well. Because guess what? Art pieces increase in price. To learn more about these things, please do follow us on social media, on our Instagram page, as well as Facebook. And we hope that you can make that investment with us. Season's greetings.